Hello my friends. What you're looking at here is uh, some charcoal and some biochar. Uh, this stuff here is fresh from the burn I made a video and the stuff in the back here has already been charged. You can see uh, dandelions, some clover and stuff growing in it already. There's no dirt in here or compost or anything but uh, in this video I'll show you how to turn the charcoal. There's a piece of wood that I turn to charcoal. Breaks apart. It's really nice, good quality. I made a video if you want to see how to make the best quality uh, charcoal possible in your backyard the easiest way. Uh, there's a piece of bone. And you can see right in where the marrow was and everything. It just breaks into dust essentially. But I don't want charcoal. I want uh, biochar. So what's the difference between the charcoal here that I just put in and the charcoal in the back there with stuff growing in it. The stuff in the front hasn't been charged yet and the stuff in the back has been charged. Now by charged I mean uh, microorganisms and nutrients have been introduced to it and it soaked it up like a sponge. So my favorite way of doing this, and there's many ways to do this, this isn't the correct way or the best way or anything like that, this is how I do it. Uh, it's pretty common you can put uh, your freshly made uh, charcoal in with your compost or you can put compost in with your charcoal. Uh, you can even take like fresh grass clippings and layer them in there, charcoal and grass clippings and charcoal, uh, and then let it compost down and charge your uh, charcoal over time. Uh, generally, uh, charging charcoal and biochar takes uh, takes a while. There are a few things you can do to speed it up, and that's what I'm going to show you right now. Um, this is a kiddie pool I have it in, and uh, you know they're cheap. This one's actually cracked in the bottom, so it makes it perfect. Things drain through, so it's not going to sit and soak and go anaerobic on me or anything like that. Uh, you can just put this on the ground too, works just fine. So how I'm going to charge it is using uh, what I have here. It's my compost tea, homemade compost tea, made for free. Okay, there's lots of videos on charging biochar. And they'll show you, you know, rock dust or kelp extract or uh, fungal inoculate. There's fungal component in this, it's left outside. Uh, if it sits, you'll see the skin and the mycelium across the top of the water. So this has the fungal component, plus all the nutrients that was in all the weeds and all the plants uh, that were broken down into it. I'm just going to dilute it with some uh, rainwater into the uh, watering jugs, and then we're going to charge the bio charge the charcoal into biochar. I could just put this on straight, but diluting it with some water just uh, extends it. Even just leaving your uh, charcoal out into the weather, if it rains for a couple weeks and stuff, they'll charge it also, not as well. Yeah, it's as simple as this. I like using the watering jug because it just spreads it evenly everywhere instead of coming out, uh, out of the bottle or out of a pail. So I'm just going to thoroughly soak it all. Just a tip, anytime you're using the compost teas, make sure you're washing your hands well afterwards. You don't contaminate anything you might eat. This is full of bacterias. It may not be so good feeling in your stomach. And also, uh, try to avoid getting any on you because uh, it stinks. But yeah, this is all I do. I'm 
know how well you can see nice brown thick water coming out of there. This stuff over here has already been charged, but charcoal has such a massive surface area. I keep hearing people repeating the two grams of charcoal as the same surface area as a football field. So it will soak up whatever you give it. If you're in a hurry and you need to, to integrate the charcoal into your garden, uh, this is a good way to do it. I'm simply going to repeat this process a couple more times over the next few days and it should be good to go. It's just going to soak and stew in there and it's going to soak up all those nutrients. All the microorganisms are going to move into the spaces provided in all the surface area of the uh, charcoal. And that's what turns charcoal into biochar. But yeah, this is a real easy way. I just use one of these kiddie ponds. It keeps it contained. Uh, there is a crack in the bottom. So you don't want it sitting in the water like uh, until it goes anaerobic. But uh, yeah, it's real easy. This is, uh, there's three important steps to using biochar in the garden. First is making the good quality charcoal, which I've done here. I made a video, you can check that out in real time from start to finish how to make charcoal at home very easily with the waste products you have on hand. Uh, step two is charging it. And as you just seen here, it's pretty easy to charge. Uh, Another really fast way is also uh, using urine, but uh, yeah, compost tea works just great, and it's easy to make. I just make it out of weeds. I'll do a video on how to do that. And once you have your uh, charcoal charged, it's no longer just charcoal. It becomes biochar. So step two is charging your charcoal, and step three will be integrating it into your soil. Now, if you make good quality charcoal in step one, here's you charge well in step two and you integrate it in your soil properly this is a fertilizer that will remain in your soil for thousands of years uh, benefiting uh, whatever crop you want to grow you see videos of people having uh, no success with biocharts because they've missed out on one of these three important steps uh, most likely uh, all of them so yeah just a quick look how to charge your charcoal turn it into biochar this will sit charge me for a couple days i'll probably start using it oh well, maybe even start using it tomorrow as i said the uh, back portion back here is already ready to go so i can scoop out of that but yeah it'll only take a few days and it'll soak up enough to be useful in the garden where it won't be uh, soaking nutrients out of the soil and uh, depriving any plants of nutrients. So yeah, there you go. How to charge charcoal into biochar. Uh, if you found this video helpful at all, please consider subscribing and joining me as a friend here on my channel. It would be great. I'd love to see you all back again. Hope you're doing well, wherever you are, whenever you watch this. Peace.